All right. So we have uh, two minutes left uh, uh, in this break before and our next uh, game. Black Mermaids against Vienna for the seven to the ninth place. I mean, they uh, seven to the ninth place have been played by Firenze, Black Mermaids, and Vienna. We had a game yesterday where Firenze uh, won against the Black Mermaids from Sweden 5-0. Then this morning, Firenze had the first game against Vienna where they won 2-1. That was also quite a quite a fight. And uh, the Italian team uh, woke up a little bit <laughs> later, but then they achieved the score. I was talking to Gabriele, uh, the trainer, and he said, yeah, you know, we're trying to train that. But we always think we played with when we train, we had so much time. They always think that it's going to be more time to achieve the goal and, you know, we need to work on that uh, focus, try to play every minute like if it was going to be the last one. Now, so if we have Firenze won two games already, that made the girls uh, um, to be on number position seven of this cap. And now, depending, you know, uh, who win um, between Black Mermaids and Vienna will uh, define the eighth and the ninth position of the camp cup for the girls. Number um, position 10th went to Newark. So far we have Langen in the third uh, place, Copenhagen in the fourth, uh, Nassut in the fifth, Barcelona in the sixth and um, Firenze in the seventh place for the women. If you want to know how we're doing with the men, so far the positions that have been defined are the Finnish team in the fifth place, uh, the Turkish um, team Ege in the sixth place, the Swedish team Malmö in the seventh place, uh, Czech uh, in the eighth place, Australia in the ninth the place. The biggest surprise. Swedish uh, from Switzerland in the tenth place. Uh, the thirteenth place goes to Newark and the fourteenth to Vienna. Still open are the first, second, third, fourth place, eleven and twelve. And for the girls, the first, the second, the eighth, and the ninth place, those are the games to come. And we have uh, one, two, three, four, five games left here in Champions Cup 2016 in Berlin. Um, the biggest tournament in underwater rugby worldwide. Um, this year we had uh, 24 teams. I think two years ago we had uh, the highest score of teams. 26 uh, or 27? 26, uh, seven, yeah, 26-7. We are uh, reaching the limit uh, of the, the possible doing in uh, one weekend, possible games in one weekend. And uh, Vene did uh, send around uh, uh, proposals uh, to the team uh, captains of uh, the invited teams um <coughs> uh, for uh, uh, changing in the plans to open up the Champions Cup to more teams. Uh, the future, uh, I think, uh, underwater rugby is global more and more, and more and more teams are coming, uh, want to come to the Champions Cup, and we have to adapt to that, and we will adapt to that. So, what are we um, having in the next games coming up? I mean, the finals between the girls, Castores Akaren, is going to be at 2.30 European time, and the final between Morden and Bamberg is going to be at 3.15. So I wanted to the audience to inform about that. Now we have um, the game between Black Mermaids from Sweden against Vienna from Austria already started and already Vienna is uh, attacking. And the mermaids are in uh, blue and Vienna is in white. And uh, <coughs> um, what, what is your prediction for this uh, game as far as uh, we have Vienna. seen? Vienna is going to win. Yeah, I, th I think how, so. How, how, how often was I right? Always. No, not always. I believe 80% right. of the time. Always right. I think um, after what I've seen from the Black Mermaid, uh, I believe Vienna. And again, this is just uh, bets. I, I guess, uh, from, uh, on um, what we've just, seen. Exactly, but it's not that they are my favorite or not. Or I just want the best uh, team to win. It, but it's, it's just, it's, I think it's also interesting for us to see you know, if we have been watching all the games, we have been watching the performances of all the teams, so we have a little bit of a feeling of what the teams can bring in the water. And uh, so we know, or we think we know what to expect from a game. Let's see, now it's a free throw for the Black Mermaids, and then um, the middle field trying to recover the ball. But uh, the Black Mermaids succeeded, and they're diving towards uh, the basket, and. 
the attacker went too high and then and barely you touched could see the goalie. She wasn't, uh, and she uh, was not going to attack, you no, knew that. No, yeah, and the, the defender knew that too. Yeah. And as a defender and then as a goalkeeper, you the know body if... The uh, language yeah, is exactly. so essential in rugby. So essential. You, I mean, if you see, if you, I don't know how many were watching, you know, the games with Akaren or the German team. Um, and if you compare to maybe the Black Mermaids in, in Vienna, the experience, the body language of, tough, of those players, you know all the time, that, I mean, they know what they are doing here. Uh, we have uh, Austria fighting from the back, uh, trying to put the ball inside the, the basket, but it didn't succeed. So, but the body language of these a bit newer, less experienced uh, teams it's different, they hesitate more, it takes longer, they are not as efficient in the movements of the uh, top players. And uh, you, you, you can tell, I mean, for in this it takes uh, hours of underwater rugby to achieve this, to get more op optimized movements and, and you see and the hours in, uh, and in, exactly in the body language. To do. Yeah. Yes, yes. And uh, you, can, you can switch uh, uh, as an experienced player, you can switch uh, in the different uh, positions you play and you can uh, speak different languages with your, with your body in different uh, situations. So Vienna is still on the attack here. Uh, on the surface now, uh, the ball carrier is trying to take a breath, but is attacked. And the ball is dropping down, recovered by Vienna, now coming in on the close side. And the uh, uh, Black Memory defender is under the Vienna player. And uh, uh, the, the Vienna player is tackled away. Ball falling down uh, the Vienna player. Uh, the pass meant for the Vienna player ended up in... Uh, hands of Black Mermaids, and uh, the Mermaids are now in ball possession, trying to come in um, on the basket of Vienna, but uh, I have to, to say the ball passing between the Mermaids is uh, sketchy. Um, uh, sketchy? Yeah, really, they, they, they just, it was a let throw down the ball and hopefully there's one of your team getting it. So uh, we're back at the um, basket of the Mermaids and uh, Vienna is, whoa, there was a crib on the um, <laughs> on the mask. We have um, another um, hey guys. Malmö player you. having beer on the shoulder. That's what I thank you. Uh, okay, that's a timeout, so probably you can switch the camera to us so we can see who's standing behind us. Uh, Milos yeah. from Malmö. Congratulations Guys, on can the you give us the place. camera? Congratulations <laughs> on the seventh <laughs> place. Yay! Here we are. Thank you for the beer. Give it, give it to me. <laughs> 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 seventh place. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> to Malmö. Yeah. It was great. Yep, it was, was a, good, a great game to, to, to watch. Have fun well and enjoy the beer. Enjoy guys, the beer. Thanks for all your great work here backstage. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank great you for playing here, for being here. Thank you for getting here. Great honor. See you soon. <laughs> bye bye. Hey, I love you. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Happy, enthusiastic Malmö Triton player. <coughs> so, this is what I really like here. The atmosphere with the people around is just, uh, uh, it's so nice and uh, open. Uh, minded and we have these many different nationalities and nobody asks about uh, your nationality the color of your skin or anything it's just great and uh, uh <laughs> yes carl we agree to you uh gc is really screaming at us uh non-stop <laughs> okay so go i mean focus. back in the game focus, focus on the focus. game focus fo fo focus so focus what? <laughs> Focus. We have one of our. Um, <laughs> we have one of our um, uh, players that uh, bring in coffee and tea to us. Yeah, thanks so much, Oren. You know, for bringing up pretzels Focus. and coffee. I know, but I want so to be yes, here. Thanks to Oren and uh, let's go back in the beer. So our and the let's try to attack. Um, um, but uh, the forechecking of uh, Vienna uh, stops them, uh, they uh, turn the pages around and it was a fast attack now from the open side, this could be a yeah, Vienna, is, uh, Vienna scores uh, here in the second half. Very good attack from the open side. Well, this, why didn't they take the goal? 
no? They didn't see it, or we, maybe sometimes you know it looks from here that it's inside, but it's was, on the other side. Yes. Maybe. Wow. Sorry, sorry, we really thought it was inside. Look, like it was hundred percent sure this was uh, a okay. score for yeah. Vienna, but very well done the attack, and they keep the attacking rhythm up. But that was a bad uh, pass down to the waiting player under the basket, but uh, there was a, a mermaid player in between, so it didn't work out. And uh, well, here we go. Now this is a goal. Now this is a goal for uh, uh, Vienna. We saw it uh, uh, 20 seconds before, but uh, um, now it did happen. <laughs> really great. Yeah, Carl, uh, we try to focus. Um, uh, bonjour, Christian. Uh, C'est très gentil que tu es encore avec nous, avec uh, uh, dans le uh, transmission. So, three uh, and a half minutes. Yeah, Carl, you can be happy. Concentrate. concentrate. Focus. One zero for Vienna. Um, three and a half minutes uh, of the first half. Yes, right? it's the first half still. And, uh, and now the mermaids uh, try to uh, raise the pressure uh, against uh, the basket of uh, Vienna. Uh, this is. They come in uh, as two, but but you see it, uh, like Lorena said in the bodily language, the mermaid player, uh, even she was with a second player, she didn't see the second player, and at the moment she was in contact with the basket, she turned around and looked for uh, someone to take over the responsibility. Um, they they uh, they are oriented in the middle of the uh, pool and not to the basket. Um, so now we have a, a mermaid player on the open side, and uh, but uh, she waited too long and she didn't succeed in uh, receiving the ball. And the forechecking of Vienna um, works quite fine in uh, uh, destroying the, the attacks. But now the mermaids come on the close side and are tackled away by Vienna. Two minutes, 20 left in this uh, first <coughs> round. Um, and uh, Vienna is, uh, I think, is uh, uh, the the dominating team. It was a call from the referee uh, holding without ball. I think against uh, yes, against uh, the Black Mermaids. Um, Vienna, yeah. And I'm trying to open this package of cookies. Yeah, That's we, we, we hear that. <laughs> we definitely hear I'm you crunching. I'm fighting fiercely with the package of cookies, and I cannot. Do, do you need a, a knife? No, it's okay. I'm already open. But yeah, sorry. I don't respond to that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, 1-0, and now uh, Vienna is again on the attack. Um, so, yes, I mean, I think that the Vienna uh, girls uh, are a little bit uh, more fighty, if we can put, I mean, a bit more, uh, not fighty, but more... Um, the, uh, let's say aggressive, uh, we don't mean it uh, no, in the evil way, no, aggressive, aggressive, we mean it, uh, uh, fighty they aggressive. have the, the, when the is edge. Norway to go going it. to play. No, Norway is playing mm, both final. The last two games of the day, starting the girls at 2:30 and then the Molde at 3:15. So in a few hours, I mean, in two hours or so. It's one minute left two, in the hours. first half. Uh, Vienna is uh, from Austria is leading this uh, game 1-0 and is on the attack. The mermaids uh, really have to go in the offense now and have to start... Uh, yeah, but you know, uh, Austria is doing a good job attacking, so they, they really They do. Yeah, here we go, the second goal. Wow, great Very job. well done. Um, mm -hmm. It was, and, and they, they forced it. It was not a lucky shot, but uh, they put pressure on the basket and uh, then the, the player on the open side had uh, uh, the back of the goalie and uh, uh, the time to push the back up and uh, punch the ball into the goal of the Black Mermaids. 2-0, 20 seconds left. So this is a, a good start for them in the second to go into the second half. Uh, now we have even a counter-attack uh, of uh, Austria and they go in uh, with two players, no goalkeeper. And Wha it's, whoa, no! that was close. Uh, we it was need to almost, be more, yeah. almost, She was too confident. Uh, uh, when you're too overconfident, you threw the ball because you... The counter-attack sure. was, was very nicely done, but uh, she didn't hit uh, the basket on the right you edge. You need to really yeah. press the ball and keep it there until you hit the, hear the horn. The that bottom been, and, yeah. the, and the bottom of the, the basket. Yeah. So, uh, very good uh, uh, game uh, here for Vienna, and uh, I don't see a chance for the mermaids to, to turn the game around. 
um, it is uh, would be very difficult. Um, and Vienna is the better team. They control most of the game, <coughs> and especially uh, they are more aggressive on the uh, on, on the, the attack, basket yeah. on mm -hmm. the basket of uh, the mermaid. You know what I have here? I have a, a lot of plates. You know, for the Champions Cup, they have plate that they give to the different teams. And throughout the years, we had different uh, topics on the plates. So Vina has brought some of the uh, plates that were left uh, from years uh, before. And I think that they're quite uh, nice. So the moment I have uh, um, a, a camera here, I can show it to you. And uh, what this plate is such a fun story uh, with the Italian team. May I tell the story? Well, so people you can laugh a little bit. Uh, but uh, um, Austrian girls intercepted the player and very hard uh, kept. I mean, took the, the, the ball away. Now uh, we are swimming towards. Uh, already the attacker is at the back of the goalie. Pull uh, the goalie up, but uh, the replace was already there before she could throw the ball inside the basket. And. Um, now we have the next attacker coming. They, they, they're doing a good job keeping in position of the ball. Uh, and they kind of see that we have um, always right and left. And they try to distribute the ball from the middle. And uh, we have the defenders of the Black Mermaids uh, trying uh, to keep the girls away. But have the, the one with the ball by the goalkeeper. And uh, one... Uh, Four checker just recovered the ball in the second that it was going to be passed to another Austrian girl right underneath the goalie. So that was a great catch. Otherwise, that would have been probably another goal. Um, they uh, are swimming now, the Black Mermaids, towards the, um, the the Vienna basket. But they were oh, they went through. Okay, they're waiting. We have there was one no four play. checking That's from, uh, four checking from, from Vienna. Vienna. But Vienna is 2-0. Maybe they needed the time to get a little bit of air. Uh, they are now fighting to recover the the ball from from Sweden, and uh, they recovered it. They did a great pass into the middle, and uh, they are doing a counter attack, and they are going to put it in Whoa. an empty basket from the Black Mermaids. Great the, the counter, counter attack. attack was faster that than was the goalkeeper really, really was uh, reached his uh, goal and could position himself and. Uh, well, but Vienna, Vienna is the better team in this uh, game, the more experienced team. Um, mm, well, more than experienced are the Black Mermaid. They have been taking, mm, participated well, in the Champions Cup many, yeah, years. But, 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 uh, but uh, it depends uh, how many uh, tournaments you do and the experience you grow with every experience. And you see it, you, you talked about it before, the body language of the Black Mermaids. Uh, there's a lot of hesitation and a lot of... Uh, uh, giving uh, the, the responsibility to the next one uh, who is in, uh, in uh, passable reach. So we have now an attack. Um, uh, we have now an attack again on the um, Austrian basket. And uh, the mermaids try uh, at least to... to to get close to the basket, but uh, it's it's really difficult for them uh, to break through the defense, and their ball control is not good enough. So the <coughs> Vienna team has enough time and space uh, to uh, get hold of the ball, and we are already um, with the Vienna team at the Mermaid Sweden basket, and uh, Vienna is coming from the middle of the pool, passing. Uh, from the basket to the open side. And this could be another goal. No, the, the, there was a Black Mermaid right at the spot to um, to get hold of the ball right in front of her from the Vienna player. And uh, now Black Mermaids go again for, uh, uh, for an attack. There is one Mermaid player against two, uh, or against the defense goalie and defender. And now the Mermaid uh, from the close side is trying to go in, <coughs> she managed to push the goalie up, uh, the Austrian goalie up, but um, couldn't uh, execute the, uh, uh, the score. So um, again, uh, they lost, Mermaids lost the ball and Vienna is, is swimming through the pool and there is one player at the Swedish basket now, uh, she lost the ball on the 
on top of the goalie um, and uh, we have now a, a, we had a quick uh, cluster on the surface and now the Swedish uh, the, the, the Austrian players are zooming in on the uh, from the close side on the basket of Sweden and they try to um, fight their way into the uh, defense um, but they are uh, pushed away but uh, there is always a second uh, wave from the Austrian girls coming if they keep it up like that it's just a question of time until uh, uh, they can score um, and they do it quite well it's a little bit uh, too uh, um, uh, not forcible enough the way they pass to each other sometimes they only drop the ball um, and that's not good enough the mermaids are not sleeping <coughs> but uh, the pressure Vienna can uh, hold up now uh, just all around the basket they start from the close side if it doesn't uh, is, isn't successful we have now one player wrapped around the basket and uh, but she lost the ball to the defender of the mermaids right in front of the uh, Swedish basket and now the Swedish player tried to go for a counter-attack and uh, we're on the way um, to the Austrian basket but the uh, uh, foot checking of Austria is quite well and uh, they get hold of the ball and um, start their uh, counter uh, attack but uh, we have a cluster on the surface two players fighting uh, for the ball but they are locked in each other's grip and uh, now the mermaid could get free yeah, one mermaid uh, going down uh, in the direction of the basket and uh, is... Oh, you don't see the picture. Yeah, mermaids are still in ball possession, but uh, the ball control is not... Uh, um, is not that uh, uh, the ball control of the mermaids is, uh, uh, is not good enough. Uh, it's too easy for Austria to, to steal the ball away from uh, mermaids like this in this scene and they just uh, swim through the mermaids and now we have uh, two, three uh, Austrian players going for the uh, basket of the mermaids um, there was no defender but it took them too long uh, to, put, to put enough pressure on the goalie to pull her up and uh, they had to uh, uh, stop their attack and this is now uh, uh, a scene we've seen a lot, mermaids uh, recover the ball but lose it at once uh, to a Vienna player and uh, Vienna is still in ball possession, no defense now under the basket and two players from Vienna are coming from the close side. Um, they try to put pressure on the basket but uh, a mermaid recover the ball through it down to the defender who swims on the bottom of the pool in the direction of the Austrian um, goal and uh, um, now a counter attack it's really changing back and forth uh, um, uh, but uh, I think uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Austrian guilds dominate this game uh, with 3-0 uh, and with more decisive attacks and uh, the gaps and the defense of the mermaids are getting bigger. Uh, Carl, uh, oh, there here is another goal. Yeah, that was just a question of time. Like I said, uh, there was no defense, and uh, the pressure the the Austrian Austrians were able to raise the pressure on the Swedish basket. Carl, uh, you say you have a poor video quality. Um, could be uh, your server. We have uh, feedback um, from other watchers of the live stream. Who are really. Um, like the good pictures we we can offer here um, well uh, you will can review this uh, game when we put it uh, up on youtube uh, or uh, in the live stream uh, archive okay this is a 4-0 for austria and we have uh, 27 26 uh, game seconds left so this is a done game uh, and a win for austria which gives them a which place lorena so let's see, um, that would be uh, Ten, the um, eighth place for Vienna and ninth for Mer Black Mermaids. All right, this is, uh, well, and uh, <laughs> uh, three seconds before the end of this uh, half, another goal for Vienna, so 5-0.
Um, no, four zero. Five. Five. Uh, five zero. That okay, was uh, sorry. the fifth. Uh, just they just scored three seconds before the end uh, of the second half. Here, Champions Cup 2016 in Berlin, and you're listening to Lorena Wolf and uh, Jörg uh, commenting. So now we have three minutes to go until the next game. That's going to be the male games between Barcelona, Spain and Firenze, Italy for the 11th and 12th uh, place.